Hi, Roshin. Hello. How are you? Good. Okay. We were studying tenses. Yeah, so we threw with simple tenses. We are? Present, simple, past simple and future simple. Now let's go to the continuous uh, tenses. Present. Okay. So we'll start with present continuous. Okay. Okay. Sure. The very simple tenses. Mm -hmm. So it's about when, whenever we talk about pre present continuous, it's uh, a particular action or event that has begun or ended in the uh, um, at a particular time, but it is still continuing in the present. Okay. So event which has uh, not begun, ended, yeah, which but has, has begun, not but has ended. not yes, has not ended and okay. it's still going on. So at and the time what? of speaking, the action is going on. Yes. So when we say, "Whom are you phoning?" I am trying to get through to Alex. Yes. So this means you have started it, but yes. you have not finished it. So that means you are still doing it. Another another very important reiteration from previous. Mm -hmm. Who are you phoning will be wrong because if you answer it will become yeah. him. Right. So, so whom are you phoning is right. A lot of yeah. a lot of students make this mistake. Right. So because we are talking about the yes. object, so it will be I am phoning him. Yes. So you so cannot. So who are you phoning? I am trying to get through, through to, to Alex. Alex. Perfect. Uh, so this is present continuous. So yes. like we say, we are doing tenses. Hmm. So that means right now we're doing tenses. So we are doing tenses. Perfect. Okay. So this all means that anything that is going on when you are uh, speaking. Yeah. Right. So that's the present continuous tense, and we use ing with it. Nicely, we use yeah. the ing format. Yeah. Here, which you can see is plus ing is the present continuous tense. Right. Let's go to the ne next slide. Okay. This is the difference between the present continuous and present simple. Yes. Uh, first, let me read the sentence. It okay. says, finance companies are lending more money to encourage business to expand. Finance companies are lending more money to, to encourage business, business to, to expand. expand. So yes. when you say are lending, so mm -hmm. this is present continuous. Yes. So are lending would mean these days. That is not what yes. they generally do. Yes. So this is just these days. So this is a temporary thing so implies a temporary arrangement this is like a temporary yes, arrangement yeah right so anything that is with ing form or a continuous form is always temporary thing mm -hmm. but when we go to the present simple we yes. say the same sentence in this way finance companies lend more money to make profit this is what they usually do so it means that's not temporary it's no, what this they is usually yes. do this is what they usually this is what usually happens yeah but uh, our lending means they might not lend it tomorrow, mm -hmm. right? So clear? So when we say I am reading, yeah. so that means right now I am reading. I am studying something, so right. that means right now I am working. So that means right now I am working. But when I say I work, so that means that's my job. When you talk about your job, you say I work. True. Right. So, so it's very simple. Present continuous. Uh, in, in this example would mean temporary arrangement, right. present simple would mean they usually do this, it's, it's what they do. Not only in this example, it's in generally all yes, examples. Generally. Yes. Okay. Yes, present so continuous would mean temporary arrangement. Right, so let's move to the next slide. Yes. Okay, so that then comes the past continuous. Past continuous. At a particular point of time in past, something was ongoing. Yes. It's not ongoing now, mm -hmm. but at a point in the past it was ongoing. So some situation which was yes. ongoing. Yes. So we say at the time of robbery they were staying with my parents. Some situation ongoing. which was ongoing. At a particular point in the past. At a particular point in the past. Time. time. Yeah. So in the past. Particular this is a particular time in the past. Time in Right. So at the time of robbery, they were staying with my parents. They don't generally stay with my parents. At the time of robbery, yes. which is particular, right. they were staying. They were staying. So we didn't say they stayed. Yeah. Because stayed would mean um, simple things. Yeah. So that would be wrong here. And we also use past continuous when we talk about that two actions happened simultaneously in past. Okay. Right. They took place simultaneously. For example, like yes, Sally was reading to the children while Kevin was washing up. Yes. So we can uh, understand it this way. When was Kevin washing up? When Sally was reading Mr. to the uh, tri yes. children. Or when was uh, Sally reading? When Ke Kevin was washing so up. So very clearly, two past actions or events that, that went, went on over, over the same period of time. Right. So simultaneously two simultaneous. things happened. Yes. 
So we use it. We use was anything and or was washing or anything but past Perfect. function. This is simultaneous. Yes. So very clearly, some situation ongoing at a point at a point of time in past, past. which is which is which past continuous. Right. And something which is happening simultaneously in the past. Right. Is also a, past continuous. Past continuous. So present continuous something which is ongoing now. Yes. And past continuous is something that was ongoing, was ongoing at a particular point of time in past. Perfect. Let's see what future continuous is. Let's see. Okay, so future continuous is when we talk about an activity that was ongoing at a, that will be ongoing at a particular point of time in future. Yes. Right. So something will be happening. Okay, something okay. which will be happening. Right. The plane will be traveling at twice the speed of sound when it passes overhead. Yes. So it's not happening right now. Mm -hmm. Right. When will it happen? It will be happening at some point of time in Nine. the future. And what is that sometime in the future when it passes overhead? It passes overhead. So did you notice here something? When it passes overhead. We're talking about future. Yeah. But because we used when, so yeah. we will not use when it will pass overhead. Yes. Right? Because this is the uh, uh, time conjunction. Yes. And with time conjunction, we don't use will. We always use present simple. Yes. Time conjunction. We always use present simple. Yes, even if when we are talking about future. Yeah. So when it will pass overhead will be wrong. It's always when it passes overhead. Absolutely. Right? So, so you remember that rule. Yes, I okay. do. Okay. Okay. So when it passes overhead because it's 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 something with a time. Right. It will be in present simple. It will be in present simple. But when we talk about few, uh, an event that will be ongoing in the future, we'll always use will be plus ing. Perfect. So present continuous will be is plus ing. Yes. And that is something which is ongoing now. Yes. Past continuous will be was plus ing. That will be something is ongoing at the, was ongoing at a particular point of time in past. Yes. And future will be will be plus ing. And that is something will be ongoing at a particular point of time in future. future. Clear? Clear. Okay. Do you want to take the next slide or in the mm, next video or do you want me to? What is the next slide? I mean, we will we'll take in the next video in any case, but yeah. what is the next slide? We'll do the present perfect uh, tenses now. Okay, so we're going to take present perfect in the next video? Yes. Okay.